Yo, I often get asked to implement a feature for the panel so that they act like a dock, so like you, they don't fill with, and if you open more application, they get larger, and if you close them, they get, you know, less larger. And every time I get asked this, I'm like, wait, but we do have that already. And to be fair, it's actually pretty hard to find out how to enable this. So in this video, let me just, let me, go through it. So if we have our panel, we go into edit mode and you can see that in here, pretty hidden, there are two arrows which you can drag to resize the panel. And there are two arrows because the first arrow uh, selects the maximum width of the panel so that the panel won't become bigger than that. And the other one is the minimum width. So you can see that in this case, I have the minimum width here, the maximum one here, and the panel just stays in between in its natural size. That is enough to actually fill all, all of the content. You, you can indeed force it to be even smaller, but your content will collapse into, uh, it will collapse or it will hide. So in order to have a dock-like setup, we can do this to have the maximum size to be as big as possible. Whereas, of course, we want the minimum one, minimum one to be as small as possible. And that should be, should be it. Uh, you could uh, run into this bag where you can see that the task manager is two, arrows, uh, two rows. Sorry. And just go into settings and select one maximum row and it will become back to normal. And you can see that if I go here and open up a new application, like, I don't know, system monitor, it becomes wider again. You can see that it backs a bit, so it it seems like it bounces. Sorry about that, it, it works, and that's what's important. I uh, want to work also on making it less bouncy in my panel rewrite. I talked about that in my last video. And since so many people ask me how to do this or actually to implement this, even though we already have this, unless I got horribly wrong what they meant, I want to make it much easier to set so that instead of actually draw, um, dragging the arrows, you can just select dock and it will become automatically like this. You can also get back to normal if you don't like this by of course dragging the arrows again but also just pressing the maximize, maximize panel button and that's it. And you can have all sort of fun with the arrows to select what size the panel should be and if you go here at the very middle you can see that there's this weird arrow which you can also drag and if you do that, it will actually move the panel offset compared to the center. So you can just do like this and whoops, you can select where you want to, your panel to be at. Maybe it's on the left, maybe it's on the right, like this. Again, you screwed up, just go back, maximize panel and it's all back to normal. So hopefully that addresses the question that I've received and hopefully this can help you. Again, don't forget about this trick of asking for just one row because it also happens sometimes if you're editing the panel, adding spacers, stuff like that, it can happen. And that was pretty much it. Again, I do want to make a rewrite so that it's nicer to use, it's easier to go into it. I will surely keep this custom arrow situation, but uh, maybe hide it in behind a customized uh, position panel button or something like that. And that's it.